Since the start of the conflict, the European Union and the US have rallied their allies to harshly condemn Russia's military aggression against Ukraine and have coordinated an unprecedented slew of international sanctions. So far, the joint campaign has had limited success, attracting only advanced economies with a solid democratic system like the United Kingdom, Norway, Japan, South Korea, Australia, New Zealand, and, in a stunning departure from its neutrality tradition, Switzerland. While India has called for an immediate cessation of violence, it has not condemned the invasion or imposed equivalent sanctions. The equidistant position has won Moscow's praise for taking this situation in the entirety of facts, not just in a one-sided way, but it has visibly ruffled India's Western partners. In the United States, President Joe Biden described India's position as somewhat shaky. On the other hand, in Europe, which is more directly threatened by Russia, the opposite has occurred. India and Europe appear to be getting closer. The West, including the vast majority of Europe, appears to be speaking with one voice in condemning Russia's actions in Ukraine. However, the picture is far more complicated on a global scale. Given India's westward drift over the last 20 years and more, one might expect India to strongly support the US. While India represents its own national interests, the European Union does not represent the interests of its 27 members individually. As a result, the Union should do more to demonstrate its commitment to deeper cooperation with India. Indeed, it is in the EU's interest to show India that it is a reliable partner. According to experts, India's balancing act is a response to the country's inherent suspicion of anything that resembles Western imperialism. Manda commitment to maintaining a non-aligned and independent foreign policy, whose primary goal is to serve the government's domestic agenda and ensure the nation's prosperity. Instead of embracing the US versus them mentality that frequently pervades Washington's thinking. India has opted for a more inclusive, growth-driven approach to cultivating ties with a diverse range of countries that in some cases may be hostile to one another. Maintaining positive relations with Russia is an important piece of a larger geopolitical puzzle that also includes China and Pakistan, the two neighbors who have had border clashes with India. However, India's silence on Ukraine should not be misinterpreted as support for Russia. For years, India's foreign policy has centered on balancing its relations with Moscow and Washington while also navigating its relationship with Beijing. Maintaining a diplomatic balance on Ukraine appears to be an unwelcome necessity for New Delhi in this context. The European Commission's president, Ursula von der Leyen, told the Raisina Dialogue audience that we are all aware of the growing threats to our open and free societies. This is true in the technological and economic domains, but it is also true in the security domain. According to von der Leyen, the European Union and India will collaborate more closely in the fight against climate change and they have agreed to restart talks on a free trade agreement as well as to establish a joint trade and technology council to address challenges in these areas. The European Union intends to relaunch trade talks with India in an effort to provide the South Asian country with a viable alternative to Russia, particularly in the defense sector. The United States is China's largest trading partner, while China is the EU's largest trading partner overtaking the US in 2020. The EU's increasing reliance on countries outside its circle of members, particularly China, has exacerbated the European Union's already fragile trade ecosystem while also increasing its long-term vulnerabilities. The amount of trade between the EU and China has increased dramatically. The European Union's trade deficit grew from 129 billion euros in 2011 to 249 billion euros in 2021. The EU's reliance on China grew quickly to the point where the COVID pandemic supply chain disruption served as a wake-up call for EU members. 
the two-year economic downturn, caused by COVID, has exposed weak spots in the supply chain and highlighted the urgent need to build new ones. In response to these new threats, the European Union launched the Global Gateway Strategy on December 1, 2021, with the goal of mobilizing €300 billion Euros in global investments between 2021 and 2027 to create seamless connectivity and avoid dependency between Europe and the rest of the world. Both India and the European Union will need to accelerate and deepen their trade and security engagement in light of changing geopolitical realities. At the same time, relations between India and the EU will need to take a realistic look at the realities on the ground. While many EU member countries support India's efforts to reform the UN Security Council, but the European Union as an institution has yet to take a decisive stance. Its fervent advice on India's unrestricted market opening and removal of investment barriers must be balanced with India's flagship programs such as Self-Reliant India and Make in India.